If you are an iPhone or an iPad user, you know all too well the importance of the Home button on your device. Unfortunately, over time the Home button may begin to malfunction, and this could leave you virtually stranded when trying to use your phone or tablet. In this tip, you will learn how to create a virtual Home button on your iPhone and or your iPad so that you may continue to use the device even if your physical Home button no longer functions. Now, of course, you will want to create your virtual home button at the very first sign that there's trouble with the physical home button. At the very first sign that your physical home button may be beginning to malfunction, you can create the virtual home button on your iOS power device by starting with Settings. Tapping on Settings, and inside Settings, let's scroll to the General section of Settings, tap General, and upon tapping the General Settings, Let's go and open up the Accessibility Settings. Tapping on Accessibility opens that group of settings, and we will scroll down just a bit in this group of settings until we get to the Interaction group of Accessibility Settings, and there we will enable the Assistive Touch feature. Once we enable Assistive Touch, you'll notice that a Virtual Home button appears on the right-hand side of the screen. Tapping the Virtual Home button provides access to a number of key features in iOS, including the Notification Center, Device, Control Center, Siri, and even Gestures. Of course, tapping the circle, which is at the bottom of the window that you currently see, that causes the Home button to behave just like the Home button, uh, more specifically just like the physical Home button. You can, of course, rearrange the position of the Home button simply by clicking and dragging it. Notice how I'm just simply clicking and dragging the home button to reposition it uh, somewhere else on my screen. And of course, if you ever need to disable the virtual home button, just return back to settings and disable the assistive touch feature. Despite our best efforts, sometimes our hardware fails us. If that happens to you with the home button on your iPhone or your iPad, know that there is a quick and easy fix that will allow you to keep working with the device until you choose to have it repaired. Simply activate iOS's assistive touch setting and you can continue to use your device even though the physical home button may no longer function. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.